Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is a set of Arteza 10 Iridescent Colors Non-Toxic Ideal for Arts and Crafts. And I have in my box, excuse me, in my jug, Glowing Peach, no I don't, Playful Pink, yes I do, Royal Purple, Electric Plum Purple, Fairy Tale Blue, Shocking Lime Green, and Fancy Black. Fancy Black I'm not so sure about. Anyway, so I have leftovers in my pitcher, and I want to use them up. And I have found with my last painting that I think I would prefer to use them with my own mixture of latex and other white and black paint. So I am going to grab myself my 16 by 20 inch canvas and tell you that I also have other Arteza pearls mixed up and I'm liking with the gold, the gold's right here. So that's what I've got to work with. So whatever I do, I'm going to start with giving myself a puddle of paint, a nice big puddle of paint, which means I've probably got an edge catcher around here somewhere in my future. I'm going to use my canning funnel. I'm going to look at this and I'm going to decide that I love this purple as much as any purple I've ever used. So I'm going to use some more of it. I'm going to do the same thing with the gold. Although I have decided that the gold sinks a bit so it might be okay to put some on afterwards. I've got a marmalade pearl. I think that'll show up probably even better than the gold. But I can also add some of that afterwards. And I wanted to put some white in there, but I'm going to grab some white enamel acrylic and just squeeze it in there. I can see some tremendous cells. So here goes nothing. Here goes, I hope, something. And I'm also contemplating right at this exact moment grabbing some black enamel because both the black and the white will help the creation of cells. I'm going to get everything I can get out of here right now. Everything. I'm going to twist that funnel around and I'm going to lift it just a little bit. I'm going to let it Spread its charming contents. I'm going to use the lip of that funnel. And then I'm going to let that drain right on my Lola Fee silicone mat. I'm going to hit it with a torch really fast. Hopefully to release some cells. And we'll see what we get. There is some, it's, there's some necessary slow tipping involved. There's every chance in the world that this paint is best when half flow trail gag combination with paint. But I am seeing some awesome cells that I would love to have stay. Now there is more than enough black paint to spread this paint, but usually what I'll do is I'll put black paint around the funnel pour so that I can then spread and keep the colors. And I would like to keep the colors. I see that thing. I saw that thing. Where is my where are my tweezers? I need a pair of tweezers right now before I do that again. Keep your eye out. There it is. It's right there. Come here thing. You do not belong. You are not invited. This reminds me of Monarch Butterfly Patterns. I still want to add some more black. I really want to add some gold. You know what? I can do that. Could have had, could add a, a hefty dose of black. After the gold, if the gold gets swallowed. But the gold will probably pop back up through. I think there's a chance of that. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint pouring mixtures. 
which is a which really helps. <coughs> Excuse me. Prevent crazing and cracking. I am going to try my hardest just to take some time and keep adding paint. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link under the link tree under the video. I'm liking the idea that maybe I'll get some negative space out of this. I'm also not hating the idea that I might be able to get away with adding a little more of this or that or the other thing. I'm nervous I'll lose all of that though. Rightfully so. I see something that needs to come out of there. And I know it's from the black. Or the white. <laughs> it's not coming either. These are not my good pair of tweezers. My good pair of tweezers are ones I bought on the Amazon link. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but it might be worth it. I hope so. This is really new for me using these iridescent paints from Arteza. And I have to say that I like how they sell very much. Let's grab another edge catcher since the last one from the last painting is not here anymore. I'm going to grab a short one because I don't have paint flowing from everywhere. I just want to let this flow down and give a little rock to my edge. Oh, I like that. That came out nice. I think I can use the same system over here as long as I can get... Do I want more paint? I might. I really should have hit that again with a torch. I can see there are bubbles in there. If I get to the end and I like what I see and I don't want to keep tipping, because I'm afraid of losing everything, I'm probably just going to torch and add paint to the places that are left, like that. Let's let that black go all the way over there before it goes down. Probably not going to keep any of that black anyway, but it would be okay if we did. Now, if I let paint go on my edge catcher, I can also take it back again. I can either let it flow back, which in this case I'm going to do. I thought maybe I would take it and move the edge catcher, but I'm really liking all the weird stuff that's going on here. If I let a wave of paint down toward that corner without it dripping off, which you might drip a little bit off, I can still do a pretty good job of getting a lot of that especially if I rock my edge catcher. To go back on. Got to be careful you don't put your edge catcher right into your painting. I did that a lot when I started. I'm going to just stick my finger in there. This is pretty cool. I am feeling much like it wouldn't be a bad idea to torch. I'm kind of liking that white here and that white here, so I'm thinking maybe that uh, the stuff they were calling pearl or pink pearl would be nice. I am liking this. I do have an OXO omelet turning spatula, and I am going to take the paint right off my edge catcher and use it to flow other paint. Right now before it stays there any longer because I got a really pretty gold covered edge catcher but at some point in time I will just chop up and use for something else. You can pounce your spatula and your paint. You can even spread some paint with a spatula. I particularly enjoy that. And I haven't tried swiping any of this paint yet so that's not hurting my feelings to try that right now. That's just one less place that I have to tip paint to. And if you run your spatula along the edge and knock some paint off, then you probably will get something you like. I think I want to take my 
my waggle stick, my skewer. <laughs> and just sort of break up those hard lines, which I might be sorry about, or I might not. We'll see. I'm actually really liking that a lot. I have to decide if this is going to be gold, and I think it probably should be gold. I'll use a straw up there. I don't mind getting a little schmutz in another color because it makes it look a whole, whole lot more organic. Yep, I like that. I have to decide what the deal is down here. I'm just going to use some more of my own black. Because generally, even when you're using metallics, it's good to use non-metallics. It's just a good contrast. It's not, not a bad rule of thumb. Although I'm thoroughly enamored of iridescence. Let me break this up a little. Or blend it in at least. Yeah, I'm liking that zigzaggy area. Cool. So I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you subscribed, and uh, I'm not no no notifications are going out on email anymore on YouTube. So if you want to help me have more than a couple hundred views in a day, and you do happen to be a fan, I really appreciate it when you share my videos. Please, by all means, share my videos. I'm having a hard time not wanting to put some gold down here, and I think I'm going to do that. Do what I always do, which is go back the opposite direction before I tip down that way. I'm not sure I'm going to like how that turns out. I've still got some time left. I guess I've been pretty quick. I like that, but I think I'm going to use a skewer and see what kind of cells we can get out of the gold and the black. And just pulling in a very random organic way. And I need some paint on that edge of the canvas anyway, so that's perfect. Just perfect. Same for this corner. I'm just going to use the paint I've got as best I can. And the float troll in my paint mixture will level the paint. Cool. I'm not unhappy with any of that at all. I kind of want something else to go back up here. Do I dare? That's a funny question. I always dare, don't I? <laughs> Pretty much. I'm only daring because I have some time. And I'm just learning what this particular paint does when I combine it with other things. And I am loving that. And I have some blue and some turquoise and I'm thinking well, I don't have turquoise, but what do I have? It's sort of turquoise. Turquoisey blue. I think it'd look fabulous in there. Some of that go right over the edge. Do I really want to do this? Let's use it someplace I'm not so sure. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Gonna roll that skewer and be very happy I have GAC 800 in all of my mixtures because that paint is a little heavier than I was anticipating. I like that. Can't wait to see this dry. I will attempt to dry, to uh, post the dry thumbnail. If I forget, it'll be the wet one. But I got to start with something to post it for me to stay organized. So I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. If you like what I do, 
and you're interested in watching some more videos, check out my old playlist, created playlists, on my YouTube channel. There's over 1,500, there's probably over 1,600 actually, videos there. For your pleasure, organized by the hundred and by the genre, the topic, however you want to say that. Most of my edges are covered. I think it's time to look one last time. Yep, that's what I wanted right there. It leaves a nice purple sheen and it's making some beautiful cells too. I could probably do that again over there. Couldn't I? Excellent. I'm so pleased. Yes. That is a dynamic piece of art. Thank you, Arteza. Very, very cool. Wow. And uh, don't forget there was black and white enamel in there as a cell catalyst. I just want to keep playing. So you guys, check out my link tree below the video. It has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. It has my website, it has Sachi art, it has links to FineArtAmericanPixels.com and if you are interested in looking at seeing what I've got on FineArtAmericanPixels.com please check out the Facebook group, they're on there too on the link tree. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group will have tomorrow's video and um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors will have the albums with the so far so good edited artworks from the YouTube videos and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more will lead you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com to show you what's what's there. Just a few more waggles. I don't know why. I'm a wireless waggler. <laughs> yeah, that made, didn't make any sense. Kind of want a little more blue right there. I don't know why. But I think I'm going to like it anyway. And after that, it might become too much, but right now it's just perfect for me. I'm so happy you guys joined me. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Like my videos. Share my videos. It's the only way to get them distributed so that more people can see them. I really appreciate it when you share my videos very, very much. I want to steal a little black. Put it right there in that gold. Just to break it up a little bit. So it's not quite so dominant. All right, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, if you have questions, please ask. If you need my paint pouring recipe, it's under the video, under the description. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. Thank you for the contributions that have helped keep me painting. If you are a contributor to the studio during any given month, you will be entered in my monthly drawing. And you can see what the drawing prizes are on the end screen video of any video. And I hope you do. Because it's because of you guys that I'm still here, because of your kind comments, and because of your generosity. Other than that, I definitely could use some help. So I really appreciate everything you do me. Check my, I am, my Amazon link. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you. Yes, I'm still working on the painting. And uh, my two books are there. Because I can, and unlimited possibilities. Yes, I needed that to continue that one line. And I'm going to try and give you a close-up if I have a minute. Because there's are, there are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cells in here. What did I miss? I can't remember. Look at those cells. Wow. This is, what do they call them, galaxy pores? I don't think I've ever referred to them as galaxy pores. But that's pretty much a common term. See if I can get all the way. I'm just getting good at manipulating this camera without pulling it down into the painting. Oh, there's some really cool stuff in there. So I love you guys. I hope to see you anon. Let's go back up here. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, Thanks, Arteza! Check below the video for any deals they might be offering you. I'm pretty sure there will be one there. All right, take care, you guys. 
Take care of each other. Take care of yourself.